a lot of kids will want what we call leap with their head. They'll start leaning their head back towards first base if they're right-handed. And they lose, if they do that, they lose direction. And my oldest son, Reed, uh, when he was in high school and college, I had to work with him on keeping his head, his head down because he wanted to, he wanted to leak. That was just a, was something that, that he had developed. And I don't know if it was a field thing or what, but I really worked, had him work on keeping his chin down and that would keep his head more on line. Well, that is I'm going to, I'm going to steal that from Nolan. Bury your yeah. chin in your chest and you can't leak with your head. So this gets to, it's funny how the variables link together, right? Because this gets to what we call the, the balance variable. So Nolan in the app at release point, the moment the ball comes out of the hand, we're measuring the spine angle. And and the, the fault that you're talking about is a, a kid would, would pull off towards first base here and the arm would flare out as a result. All sorts of actions. Yeah, once their head tilts, they lose their direction. So tucking the chin from max leg lift through foot strike sounds like helps you number one, stay closed. And then number yeah, stay two, stay online. Yes. Stay online. Yeah. So that's a great one. Tuck the chin. It well, I'm going to use that. You're going to see that somewhere next week. Nolan. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, you know, it, it reminds me of one we heard from uh, David Bedner, the pirates closer this year. He talked about using his front shoulder as a sight line for the target as long as he could. Did you ever think about that? Well, what I did, I used my elbow. So elbow. it's basically the same thing as what he's saying. So tucking the chin at the same time you're using your front side as a sight line, there's a, right. something interesting there. I, I, hope, I hope the kids that are watching this are writing that down, because how simple is that? Tuck your chin, point your elbow. Awesome. Tuck your chin, point your elbow. Can we see, guys, can we see some of the, the video from the, the front view of Nolan? Because I think it's super powerful for people to see how level his eyes are at release point, which is a, a shorthand way of kind of thinking about the balance variable that we're, we're talking about here. So right at the release point, you know, obviously he's throwing 70% here, which is still uh, faster than, than I could have ever throw, which is fine. But, but eyes are dead level at release point. Um, and any pitch you see in Nolan, especially second half of a career, eyes are dead level at uh, at release point there, which, which as he's saying, comes from keeping that chin tucked. Tom, uh, if we look at that kind of um, few frames again, interesting that you, you talked about the glove as we were looking at the side view, but we actually yeah. measure that variable from the front view in the app. Can you, can you talk about his front side here and what you're seeing? Yeah, his eyes level, obviously. Glove in front of the torso, and inside the width of the body and over the front foot. I mean, he checks all the boxes here. And remember, this is, if I remember correctly, at Alvin uh, Junior College, and it's in the morning yeah. early. Um, yeah, and even at 70%, his back foot stays on the ground um, for about two of his feet. Uh, it, it's, it's perfect. I mean, I'm looking at this thinking, you can kind of understand why he was had the longevity that he did because he's not taking anything out of his arm. His, his body delivers his arm and he throws the ball hard, easy. Look how effortless it looks. He's just flipping the ball. 